Right, so I've already primed and set my eyelids with some Urban Decay Primer and just some powder. I'm going to use the L'Oreal Eye Paint in 101 Eternal White and it comes out like this. I don't know if you can see. That's how it comes out, it's like a pearly white. It's a very, very subtle pearly white. To be honest, you could use this as an inner corner highlight if you wanted to, or you could use this literally as a highlight. It's gorgeous. I'm just going to use this on... Um, I was going to put it across my whole eyelid and then blend it out and add a little bit of brown in it, but I might just do that. So... I'm gonna take some of this. I'm gonna do one eye at a time because I don't know how quickly it dries. Because if if you put it on and it dries really quickly, you'll have literally a mark that you can't blend out. So I'm just gonna do one eye at a time. So I'm gonna put this right by the inner corner. No, not taking it too high. Just across the whole eyelid. And then blending it out. It's very velvety, very velvety, very smooth, not rough. I can feel it getting tacky now, so it's drying. Now it gives off a really subtle, like, pearly white glow, and I really like it. So if you wanted to use this as like an inner corner, inner corner highlight, even an under eyebrow highlight, cheekbone highlight, I think this is quite versatile in a way. So you could really put this on your hand, blend it out a little bit, and then to reduce the product and then pat it on your cheekbones underneath the arch your eyebrow. I think this is gorgeous. So I'm going to do that to the other eye as well. I believe this is 4 or 5.99. So it's not actually that pricey. Well, I mean, for an eyeshadow eyeshadow liquid paint that's all right but if it stays on the whole day doesn't budge and plus it looks gorgeous so I, i'd say it's worth it i'm just gonna take dolce de leche from the Too faced palette and i'm just gonna um brush this on the upper part of my eyelid so just here just to add a little bit of depth to that Not too much because I'm trying to keep it natural still. So you have like a really nice pearly shine. That's dry and it does not transfer which is nice. Now I'm just going to put a little bit of this on the back of my hand because I want to pick some of the product up with a pencil brush and I want to put this on the inner corner of my lower lash line. So it's super creamy, super creamy. But once it dries, it dries, so just be careful with it. I actually can't wait to buy the other colours because the other colours are really funky. So it's like gold, blue, green, I think. But they're really, really cool colours, so I believe these are actually winners because these are this is lovely super blendable creamy formula it's like a velvety texture and i believe it stays so that's how i'm gonna have my look now while we're at it with the eyes i might as well use the mascara as well so this is the l'oreal false lash superstar x fiber and there's a lot of fibers i've seen the fibers it's a lot of it so I'm going to curl my eyelashes first because I really need to. If I don't curl my eyelashes, there will be no point in putting mascara because my eyelashes will be like facing down. Now the problem I had last time is I didn't know whether to let number one dry first before putting on number two or making it half sticky before putting on number two. So I might just let them dry. Okay, taking side number one, which looks like a normal mascara. I'm just going to brush this through 
my lashes. Now my lashes are super rebellious. Um, I really have to, I feel like there's a certain technique when I do my lashes so that it doesn't clump or, you know, fall. I don't really know what this side's meant to do. Is this literally just the base mascara, the normal mascara before you add the fibers? Or, because I can't tell if, if, do they want me to add it, this, the fibers while it's dry or while it's wet? I'm gonna let number one dry before putting on number two. So that is one layer done. And up to now, it looks all right. It looks like how I, how it would look if I use my million volume million lashes um, by L'Oreal. So I'm just gonna let that dry. I don't even. I'm, I'm not even gonna use the fibers on my lower lashes. Lord, I'm gonna have flies legs on my eyes. No thanks. So I'm gonna try the fibers now. I'm gonna try it. So now I don't know if you can see, but. There are a lot of fibres on this brush. So let's see how this works. It's a curved brush as well. So... It's very odd to me, adding fibres to your lashes, I don't know. What happens if the fibres get in your eyes? I really don't think any fibres have caught on. Maybe it's just my lashes. Okay, so far, this is what it looks like, if you can see. Now for the other eye. So this is how it looks. So that is my top lashes. I can't see any fibres attached. Because aren't the fibres meant to be attached to the ends of the lashes? I can't see that. But hey, I mean, it looks like any other mascara I'd use. Just a little bit more, I don't even have to, crazy in a way. I don't know, don't know how I feel about it yet. I'm gonna use the number one on my lower lashes as well, just because I'm not using those fibers on my lower lashes, no way. It's kind of a petite brush, so it's all right for the lower lashes if you're very gentle with it. So it does coat the lash hairs. The middle part of the brush is very skinny. So it kind of works. I like the smaller brush, I like the number one brush. It does work quite nicely on the lower lashes. I mean, right now, my lashes look long, but they just look a bit messy. I don't know what it is with these fiber mascaras. They just make my eyelashes look all like jumbled up and stuff. But it kind of makes my lashes look longer, but it just does look messy. I just have bad experiences with these superstar mascaras. I don't know what it is. I do like the number one brush, but the, the fibers, I just can't see them. We'll have to see at the end. Right, the eye paint and the mascara. Now, what I think about the eye paint, I think this is very, very, very versatile. Especially this color, the 101 Eternal White. This, I believe I could use this for highlight anywhere, eyeshadow, so highlight under the brow, on the cheekbones, I could use this everywhere. This is because it's it's not extremely pigmented so that it would be like a blob of like shiny eyeshadow. It's very um, blendable so you could layer it up to get the intensity that you want. So I think these are quite good. I, believe that, I think it is $5.99 or $4.99. But they've got like six, seven colours, as you probably saw in my new makeup video, if you've seen it. Um, 
I really like it and I might probably buy more because they're actually really, really lovely. They've got a gold as well, so maybe a, a darker skin tone would look perfect with that, especially if you use it for highlights. So, I mean, it's so versatile, you could use it for practically anything, you know, just get creative with, with, get creative with it. Um, so yeah, I really like this and I'll probably definitely be buying more. Now the mascara. Right, the mascara. My verdict on this mascara is probably the same as the other one in my Superstar. The normal Superstar mascara. It's the same thing. It just, I feel like my eyelashes, well, I mean, they've kind of gone down a little bit. Some mascaras actually keep my lashes up. But this one, well, especially this side, my they're gone straight like that. But what can I say? I do have really rebellious lashes. But the fibres, for me, I personally don't like fibre mascaras. I don't see the point. I can't see any fibres attached to my normal lashes. Um, I just don't see a difference with and without the fibres, to be honest. Like, I probably wouldn't use this again because I just don't see a point in it. I do like the number one brush, though. The step one brush, I think it's really nice for my lower lashes. It doesn't... Um, smudge on my skin as easy as some mascara brushes do so I think I might use that for my lower lashes this is actually quite nice but the fibers I just don't see a point in it I'm, I don't it just doesn't work for me it might work for other people because um, I work my co um, my colleague at work she loves the superstar mascara so everyone has totally different tastes obviously and opinions but for me it just doesn't work with my lashes so I'm just gonna put that to the side and then just leave it there that was 11.99 so of course the L'Oreal Superstar Mascaras the two ended brushes that they have are much more of an expensive mascaras like the expensive range I mean L'Oreal do have expensive mascaras anyway uh, in my opinion definitely much higher end but they make good products, but this is just not, it's just not for me. I'm not gonna use that again. Only the step one brush for my lower lashes because I feel like it does the job. I don't really have lower lashes, so it makes them come alive. I think, I think it's all right for my lower lashes. So that's pretty much it for that mascara. Um, that mascara and the eye paint. So that was basically my first impression, my review on it, you could say, of how I feel about these two products. So yeah, if you guys did enjoy, please don't forget to like, subscribe, share and comment and I'll see you guys in my next video on the one before this one. So yeah.